this video, we will determine whether a relation is a function, and we're going to look at relations in four different ways. So the first way I have here is a mapping. And a general rule of thumb that a relation is a function if the x values do not repeat. So I want you to look at negative 2, 0, 8, and 9 in this mapping. Notice that only one line comes from each of those values and goes over to point at a value in the y oval. When this happens, this lets us know that this is a function. So yes, this is a function. Again, because none of those x values repeat by having two lines come from the same value. Now let's look at another format. This one is a table. And in this one, I want to look at that x column. Do the x values repeat? Oh my goodness, yes, they do, right? We have negative ones all over the place. So because the x value of negative one repeats, this is not a function. All right, two more to go. Look at the ordered pairs here. Remember, we're only concerned with do the x values repeat. So you're looking at those first values in the parentheses. And I am spying that the first coordinate has a 1, and the last ordered pair also has a 1 for the first coordinate. And that makes this not be a function here. All right, one last one. Let's take a look at the graph here. I want you to look at those ordered pairs. Do you see any that the x values would repeat? Exactly. Those last two on the far right have the same x coordinate. In fact, they are vertically right on top of each other. That's how we know they have the same x coordinate. So this also is not a function. So I hope this helps you in the four different formats or the four ways to represent a function. I hope you can see how to tell if it is a function or not, even if it's in a different format.